uh, one in four houses will still have a photo of MGR being hung on the wall. That's the kind of impact he has on people. And even after uh, several years of his death, almost about 35, 37 years of his death, um, there are people still queuing up to go see his. Uh, Samadhi is uh, is burial place. People for once in Tamil Nadu are very clear that this is an election to elect the prime minister of the country. Uh, Rahul Gandhi. Oh, I just told the outsider. And Prime Minister Modi. A uh, charismatic. Amit Shah. Uh, Master Bain Chanakya. Okay, interesting. And also uh, your uh, all-time favorite CSK. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration. Rajnikant. Demigod. Um, the. Actor turned politician uh, Kamal Hassan. Turn court, Kamalian. So, sir, how is your campaigning going? Well, except for the uh, heat, like you rightly <laughs> said, uh, the response is phenomenal. The the people are great. The people have realized, and uh, we're so happy. We're so happy to be uh, you know watching those faces brighten up when they see the Modi wagon come towards them. Hmm. Um, Uh, that's the kind of uh, you know booster tonic which we are getting from the people okay. uh, the the reception we get from them from the general public not the party cadres the general public um, the atmosphere is brilliant it's great it's it, it's it's going good so far it's lovely is the modi magic working here then is yeah. it south because south uh, really seems to be very tough for the bjp so is the modi magic really uh, working here The Modi wave, which happened in 2014 all across the country, is in Tamil Nadu in 2024. We are a little late. We are 10 years late. Just like how we went back, you know, in the whole entire whole this uh, uh, developmental uh, front, like we 10 years back. Uh, just like that, the Modi wave has hit us a little late, but mm. never too late. Mm. Um, people are ready. They're ready for this, and I think it's 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 going to be a phenomenal ride here, uh, here, here forth for Tamil Nadu because you know it's a state with great potential. We have mm. great manpower. We have great human resources. Uh, we have an amazing coastline. Uh, we have quite a number of airports, uh, and and beautiful people. It's just that uh, we we were a little underutilized, and uh, now the Modi magic seems to be hitting, and it it seems to be setting in right. But your opposition doesn't seem to be agreeing on that line. They say that BJP is just a daydreamer uh, here in Tamil Nadu. They cannot enter into <laughs> the <laughs> politics here. See, there was a point of time when these people would never even take the name of BJP. Hmm. Because they can't start BJP. Okay, what is BJP? It's just another party. So that's we were uh, uh, not in the contention for them to even be talking about. The two rivals in Tamil Nadu were DMK and ADMK. Yeah. But today, in every public meeting, it's either a DMK minister or an ADMK ex-minister who go out and say, "You either vote for us or you vote for DMK. Hmm. Don't vote for BJP." Hmm. So you They, say that BJP has now made it. to the uh, i am not saying it these people are saying it themselves hmm. he is openly saying you either vote for us or you vote for them but not for any other party hmm. don't vote for bjp don't let bjp into tamil nadu hmm. so that's the kind of uh, impact Fear? yeah impact we have created in the minds of these people that you know um, it's 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 nice it's it's uh, we are happy we've been toiling for years for hmm. this hmm. to create this kind of an atmosphere and it's finally here hmm. In fact, they go on to call themselves Pangali. There's a word called Pangali in Tamil, okay. which basically what does that mean? Pangali basically means uh, it's 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 a term where where you you call each other relatives, you know, like uh, uh, related through marriage or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, they say Pangali in like rural part of Tamil Nadu. Mm-hmm. So DMK and ADMK say we are all Bangalis mm-hmm. because you know we are one family. Mm-hmm. We just split right now. Mm-hmm. So you either vote for this family or that family, but not for anyone else. <laughs> so they've gone to that point right now in trying to convince the voter to stay within those two Dravidian parties because this nationalist uh, front coming in, you know, the NDA coming into uh, Tamil Nadu is not working well for these Dravidian parties. Dravidian parties uh, seem to be having a strong hold, is what uh, till I have seen it among the people. To, does do you think this time uh, the Ram Mandir issue or uh, uh, any other issue, the Sanatan Dharma issue, will that prevail this time? See, people for once in Tamil Nadu are very clear that this is an election to elect the Prime Minister of the country. Uh, ADMK for some reason, I think you know they are assuming and they are thinking that this is going to be an election for the councillor. I mean, who are you campaigning for? Who is your candidate? Mm. Uh, are you going to make Mr. Palni Swami the Prime Minister of the country? Mm. You couldn't make him the, make him the CM of the state. What are you? Who are you campaigning for? Mm. So you have no front 
you have uh, uh, um, no vision they are they are a part of the ind ia block no, no, i'm talking about the admk okay. i'm talking yeah. about the admk okay. so they 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 are almost fighting it out like a council election hmm. the dmk on the other front though they are a part of the india alliance the india alliance has no uh, prime minister candidate themselves Uh, you know, they're running around so randomly, you know, picking on each other. Mm-hmm. In Kerala, there is a there is the state of affairs are so funny. When the CM hits out at Rahul Gandhi, mm-hmm. um, he says that Rahul Gandhi is scared of BJP. Mm-hmm. And uh, in Tamil Nadu, uh, the Congress cadres are going and campaigning for the the CPM. This is like vote for CPM, vote for CPM. Mm-hmm. We're neighboring states. We're mm-hmm. talking about Kerala and 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 Tamil Nadu. Just just divided by the Western Ghats. On mm-hmm. this side, the Western Ghats is Kerala, and here we have mm-hmm. Tamil Nadu. And other side, uh, the 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 communists and the Congress. Men are killing each other. Here they are hugging each other. That's the kind of alliance that has been formed between the the India Alliance parties. So, what kind of unity can you have with, with, with such a front coming to power? It, it makes no sense to the people mm. of the country. But sir, uh, when we talk about uh, Tamil Nadu, we also see a lot of love for CSK because yeah, uh, while campaigning, I had seen you also wearing a CSK T-shirt. But unfortunately, CSK had lost to Hyderabad. <laughs> well, I am happy for that. But how do you look at it? Very interesting politics and uh, love for cricket uh, seems to be happening here. Love for cricket, definitely yes. <laughs> love for cricket, definitely you yes. Like cricket, in what? of course, since in spirit. um these formats of the game has really charged up and it's giving a lot of opportunity for newcomers for freshers to you know uh, show their talent in sports let it be the ipl let it be the uh, pro kabaddi league or the uh, uh, table tennis or the badminton all these uh, sports have leagues of their own now and they're all doing phenomenally well which is a good thing mm. uh, the isl so the the new formats are good and uh, yesterday um, i i really did want to watch the match but unfortunately i couldn't and fortunately we were campaigning for modi on the streets so at least to show my support for my team over the yellow jersey i went out i campaigned um we proud of our team we proud of our city we represent our city whereas the opponent i'm fighting against he chose to go by the hyderabad team <laughs> So that the, the the team you're supporting is owned by my <laughs> my home. I'm from Hyderabad, so I'm happy that Hyderabad has won this time. <laughs> in cricket, yes, but let me tell you, in this election, Chennai is going to win, not the Hyderabad owner. Let's make sure. I will make sure that Chennai wins this election. So you are saying 40 out of 44, uh, the BJP, uh, including Tam uh, Pondicherry seat. We're trying for a 40 on 40. Definitely yes. When the when the tally crosses 400. we want that tie to come be coming from tamil nadu and pondicherry but uh, we are definitely progressing see 40 on 40 today might not practically be possible but we are progressing we are pushing hard we are, we have uh, we have come a long way hmm. from 2021 to 24 we have taken a giant stride giant stride hmm. uh, unimaginable progress so um, well, so that is actually visible because when we talk about the south state especially when we talk about tamil nadu or kerala because uh, bjp earlier was never uh, seen in roads in the southern states but now slowly bjp and nda we can talk about has made in roads but what about 2024 elections big impact 2024 is going to be a big impact it's going to be the beginning of a new chapter mm. for politics in, uh, in in states like tamil nadu because you know the people have chosen these dravidian parties for 50 years mm. they with the saturation mm. they saturated so they they don't know what else to do mm. the dravidian parties don't know what else to do for the people mm. they, they they had good leaders at one point of time i'm not i'm not saying that uh, they had good leaders they had visionary leaders they had uh, leaders like anna and mgr mm. Uh, who performed well they had a jayalalitha and aidmk who wanted to progress the state um, uh, but but now right now um, the the leaders in both these political organizations are visionless mm. they they had the good fortune of having a, a a party in hand a party with a with a great cadre in hand and a lot of history behind it so with that they just running their campaign mm. that is running a campaign but this is not going to last mm. uh, people are uh, the only thing constant about the people is the change they want and and today they want change they want better uh, they want development they want things to get better in their lives and uh, they see the model of narendra modi across the nation and they and they see that he is um, delivered you know it is um, more of uh, action than talking take the poll promises take the poll promises of uh, constructing the ayodhya temple or take the poll promise of the uh, abrogation of article 370 or take the uh, poll promises of ca mm-hmm. um, this is one political party which does not budge down to any pressure uh, they they promised they delivered mm-hmm. 
they felt it is right for the people they deliver so they don't they don't take into the opinion of uh, stakeholders like you know uh, okay my alliance partner feels this so i'm going to keep this away no this is for the country this is for the people we will do it mm -hmm. they said they'll do it and they did it they asked their votes based on this they won the election and they delivered the promises one change once you are voted to power one change you would like to first in um, very important change which you would like to bring in this particular parliamentary constituency the chennai central parliamentary constituency what would it be infrastructure infrastructure forms the basis of any sort of development which you want to have um see if 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 there is a beautiful mall and a lot of stores are there and if there's no parking you won't go there mm. because you wouldn't leave your car and go mm. so that's that's a basic infrastructure problem so similarly any business or any development let it be a school let it be a sports ground everything needs basic infrastructure what is dmk done then nothing that's the problem the dmk has made sure that this this particular constituency remains stagnant mm -hmm. it remains stagnant why are people taking 500 rupees to vote mm -hmm. because they kept in poverty you say dmk has not done anything but then we also see that the sitting mp dayanidhi maran and also the dmk has been in power in this particular constituency since a long time so still despite all of that you are saying that dmk has not done anything exactly so the voting uh, percentage of this particular constituency is very low hmm. we are at a uh, staggering 57 58% when it comes to an mp election um that's not a healthy sign so what dmk does is they make sure that they buy out votes from the people who live below poverty line why are they living below poverty line is because of the dmk the dmk wants to buy these votes election to election make them feel like they own them and make them vote for them now that has been a very uh, sadistic ideology or a practice that the dmk has been doing over the years over the years 30 40 years your your family like the maran's family 25 30 years you've been the mp of the same particular constituency mm -hmm. how many slums are there why are there over 300 slums still there why are these people living in inhuman conditions what have we done to alienate them out of their poverty what narendra modi has done in 10 years why could you do nothing of it narendra modi is doing this across the nation why can't you do it within your constituency in the last 25 years mm -hmm. you moved to a posh house your house is worth over 100 crores in the boat club mm -hmm. the, the most posh area of chennai mm -hmm. but why should the others uh, live in such um, uh, pathetic conditions mm -hmm. so they have made sure that uh, these people are forced to take that 500 rupees to vote mm -hmm. i'm not blaming the people but their condition their poverty it forces them to take that money 500 rupees looks like big money for those people so i would definitely blame the dmk for making sure that the people were kept like this mm. and i think it's the duty of an elected representative to make sure that this people and his constituency thrives mm. they should thrive and survive has ram mandir penetrated well in uh, tamil nadu this time see ram and uh, uh, tamil nadu have a great uh, connection though uh, many people especially the people who follow the dravidian dravidian ideology um, just like how they differentiate people based on region a uh, hey, marwadi a hey, gujarati a hey, bihari like that they say hey, ram is a north indian god okay i don't understand the concept of north indian south indian god uh, we worship lord murugan a lot but murugan is worshiped as kartikeya in himachal pradesh in uttarakhand in so many states their temples for uh, lord kartikeya the names may be different but the gods are the same, same. so uh, rameshwaram is named after rama ramanadapuram is named after rama so many cities in the south so many cities so many towns so many villages are named after ram Um, there is a great connection between uh, ram and tamil nadu and uh, definitely um, uh, people are you know queuing up to visit ayodhya you know it's like a life's dream for so many people to go to ayodhya and see uh, ram lala and you know ram lala is going to help us win this election in tamil nadu we are we are betting on ram lala to win this election so for us we are betting also you are praying to the god so everything together cricket god politics <laughs> everything is coming together for you <laughs> yeah, let's it's um, Uh, as they rightly say you know election is uh, is the is the best most celebrated festival across the nation like everyone Every celebrates year. this festival democracy yes 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 the the, the mood is upbeat uh, the festive spirits are high and uh, we are not leaving any stone unturned mm. we we are going the full mile to make sure that we win this time i see pm modi also coming here for campaigning very soon uh he's here on tuesday see wherever uh, sri narendra modi visits or whichever place he goes to i don't think many people uh, on earth have that kind of aura which he has or he is able to produce uh, you know uh, the very sight of him it just charges you up it like it it you know it's it's a different feeling altogether like looking him in his eyes is one of the greatest feelings you can get you know 
Had you had a conversation with him in person? What did he say? I I've been fortunate enough. I've been fortunate enough to uh, share the dais with him on three occasions. Oh. Have the uh, fortune to um, shake hands. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> Good things. <laughs> Good things. See, if you could say, if you could share something. <laughs> no, that's what the prime minister told me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So also now that we talk about politics, but also what do you see? What do you do during your uh, free time apart from politics? Like. you i know you like cricket you are a big fan of csk dhoni and also what's what's apart from politics oh you forgot rajnikanth i'm a huge fan of rajnikanth i mean if you're not a fan of rajnikanth if you're from tamil nadu you're lying or there's something wrong with you that's how much i like rajnikanth oh. so uh, movies cinema or oh, travel 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 yeah 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 see i i i i've Where have I, you been at last I've uh, had this huge passion to travel across the breadth and uh, uh, length of our country cuz there's so much to see so much Definitely. to see I'm 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 waiting to finish my elections I I'm I been so badly wanting to visit the northeast okay. and uh, I think it's a great time maybe go hold the flag and and walk in some elections you should go to Jammu Kashmir then that's the best place I would say Oh I've I've done that already <laughs> three times nice three place. times three times Jammu Leh Ladakh amazing i mean why would you want to go anywhere else in the world I when agree. you have these places I in agree. our country this is too brilliant too beautiful we'll have a small rapid fire round if you can give <laughs> <laughs> fast quick answers prime minister modi charismatic rahul gandhi uh, oh my god you have to think so much for a word for rahul gandhi <laughs> no i don't want to come up with an inappropriate word because everything which comes to my mind i don't think i should be saying it on mic especially when you're recording me on screen <laughs> so i'm just trying to be uh, uh, very gentle on him i would i would call him an outsider outsider why so because i think a person who wants to win an election should be able to connect to the people but he lives elsewhere his mind is elsewhere he is such an outsider to the to, to the common man of india to the voter people cannot connect with him mm. uh, whereas narendra modi even you know in tamil nadu let me explain to you um, there was mgr who was the biggest icon like there was there was, i don't think there was there's a household which did not like mgr mm. even today you go to uh, um, uh, many places especially the uh, uh, lower section of the society you walk through the slums of chennai uh, one in four houses will still have a photo of mgr being hung on the wall that's the kind of impact he has on people and even after uh, several years of his death about almost about 35 37 years of his death um, there are people still queuing up to go see his uh, samadhi is uh, his burial place so people are still going there and worshiping and praying to him mm. so that's the kind of impact uh, he had had at that point of time after that, no leader was able to create that today Sri Narendra Modi is having the same kind of impact what MGR had back in those days. People in Tamil Nadu are connecting with uh, the Prime Minister because the Prime Minister is is become a part of everyone's life here in some way or the other. One of the schemes, this way, that way, everyone is getting benefited. Crores of people in Tamil Nadu are benefited through the Prime Minister schemes, and and the connection is just growing day by day by day. We talk so much, but also I wanted to to ask you, what do you see? How do you see the indie block, I N D I A block, the alliance which they have come up with? Uh, there are many parties, even D M K is a part of that. What do you see that party, uh, the alliance as? Uh, well, if it's the part of the rapid fire, chaotic, <laughs> chaos, chaos right now. and uh, chaos later so on we'll also we'll do the rapid fire round once again how uh, we'll we'll start it again then uh, rahul gandhi why oh, just told the outsider and prime minister modi a uh, charismatic amit shah um uh, master mind chanakya okay interesting and also uh, your uh, all time favorite csk <laughs> <laughs> inspiration rajnikant demigod um the actor turned politician uh, kamal hasan turn coat chameleon <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh, what's your last message to the youth uh, here in the parliamentary constituency of chennai central please go out to vote hmm. it's a humble request i'm keeping through republic to you i've been doing this every other time please go to vote because many people feel how is my vote going to make a difference but every vote is going to make a difference you cannot have change on twitter you cannot have change on instagram hmm. change should happen with your finger mm. on the day when you go and press that machine mm. and i think if every youngster 
urges about 100 people to go on what if it it just should become a movement mm. I mean, unless it becomes a movement this is not going to happen mm. if people want change if they want to see change let it be any political party they want to vote for i'm not saying go vote for bjp let it be any political party of but go and vote mm. choose a vote mm. choose a vote for a party which you think is going to do good for you but what i think it really matters there are many one uh, uh, first time voters uh, we see uh, what's their uh, uh, message or uh, what you want to tell them because they are the ones who are said to be the deciders these days and uh, but also at the same time they sometimes hold back themselves uh, they say that what difference would one a leader create because when one has not done anything in these all years I uh, see they are, they are still fresh and they just you know there's a lot of excitement usually because it's the first time they're going to go and vote mm. um I think it is uh, a time that uh, the young generation of Tamil Nadu especially the ones who are finishing school going to college um start having a little more interest in the uh, political affairs of the state and the country unfortunately in Tamil Nadu Uh, the colleges and universities don't have elections for students you know student elections so when there is a student election uh, luckily what happens is uh, uh, students get uh, aligned you know they get they align themselves with a certain ideology mm. they start believing in a certain ideology uh, let it be left let it be right but they believe in a certain ideology um so it's 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 good for their future you know they politically get activated at a very young stage of life mm. but in tamil nadu the dravidian parties banned the concept of elections in colleges and uh, universities so since we don't have that the, the interest of the students is more towards cinema and uh, the cinema and the art is heavily controlled by the dmk and its first family so, so the production houses the largest production houses the distribution houses uh, sun pictures sun tv sun next um rajai and movies so you you all the big names it was all being run by the the family so so they are able to control the heroes the, the directors because they are the ones who have the money to pay and they they make sure that uh, the film carries a certain subtle message of their liking of mm-hmm. their choice mm-hmm. so getting into the subconscious mind of the people is done through art by dmk and they've mastered that of it mm-hmm. um from a very early stage mm-hmm. you, uh, when uh, karnanadi was alive and when he used to pen stories in the murasuli uh, which was read by a lot of people and he started influencing the people's mind to today you seeing sun pictures and rajain movies to take movies and make actors act in as per their convenience to to uh, convey their message to the people in a very subtle way so uh, cinema is is diverted the attention of youngsters especially first time voters far 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 away from politics and the political reality of the nation i really wish and hope that very soon uh, they will be pulled back into the mainstream of things i don't ask them to go be a part of a political party but they have to be politically knowledgeable as to what is happening they in this nation they should be they yeah, are no they should know the reality uh, or oh, they should know their candidate most importantly okay mm-hmm. who you voting for okay the symbol is fine but who are you voting for mm-hmm. is your candidate this that what is he mm-hmm. what is he going to do what has he done what are his promises what is his past performance how many times has he spoken for your people in the parliament how many times has he been elected before what difference has he made to your life or to the life of the people around you or to the society you live in i think the youngsters should know that before they go and vote You you are taking on Dayanidhi Maran. How is it easy or tough it is for you? Uh, it's a it's a blessing from God that I'm taking on Dayanidhi Maran, <laughs> because see any other candidate might not face the kind of anti incumbency which Dayanidhi Maran faces. Well, he says he doesn't have anti incumbency <laughs> because he doesn't know what is happening around him. See, he's sitting in the comfortable air conditioned ten uh, thousand uh, square feet house he lives in po- in boat club. I'm sure he has no idea what is happening on the outside world. So only when you come outside and when you interact with people, when you respect your party men, I really pity the the. Uh, um, sad state of affairs of the dmk party men have to work for him because uh, for a fact i know that no, no one wants to work for him they are just working because they like their political organization and because of the affinity to the party they work no one works for this person because he has not attended any of their uh, functions let it be a, a marriage or a death in the family he doesn't bother he feels it's um, their life's uh, job uh, uh, to work for them mm-hmm. if he, okay we are the first family your job is to work for us so that's the kind of mentality slave mentality which uh, this family has you know they are a family of dynasts you know who have just uh, had power passed on to them it's like you know they they feel it's their uh, life's uh, 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 birthright mm-hmm. they feel it's their birthright that these people okay you are a party man you work for me that's how they see them mm. so they don't they don't understand uh, their needs necessities their feelings mm. so it's 
kind of uh, so you say that they are on cloud 9 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i would say that yeah yeah mm. i'm just trying to think that if they have any production house by the name cloud 9 because they have so many companies oh, okay. so you never know they might just be having one mm. okay Right. Thank you so much, Mr. Vinod, and all the very best Thank for you, you to taking on the Yani Di Mar. And I hope you win this time. All yeah, the very best. And we'll also make sure that Chennai wins this time. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. So that was a uh, Pinoj V. Selvan, who was the BJP candidate from the Chennai Central constituency, where we are seeing that very soon. Tamil Nadu is going to vote on the 19th of Nav- uh, April and also at the same time BJP seems to be very much confident of making their way is bar 400 par